Hi folks, we're here today with a Talon, new Talon sharpener. We just took it out of the box, put it here on the bench. You can use just about any size bench. This is what we had to use to set this up on, so that's what we did. Took it out of the box, it comes out, you're gonna have your, this arm off, your adjustment arm and everything. That's gonna be off it. This goes on, as you can see with this wing nut right here. Goes on your machine, you can see how it goes on and everything. Set this up like this and everything. Now, when you come to install your blade, you need your blade approximately a quarter inch off this vise right here, your blade vise, okay? So that's what, if you're running an inch and a quarter blade, which is standard in the industry and everything, you would adjust this up so this is a quarter inch off right here, this chuck and everything. So bring these up, adjust these. So these will bring the adjustment into a quarter inch for you. You've got this fairly close, you've got your trundles, these are called trundles, blade trundles right here on this. You're gonna have to install your stone. This happens to be a white stone that I'm using here. I, I, I prefer white stones. This is what you're gonna get with your machine. This is the black stone. This stone right here, this metal part, goes when you install this, this cover comes off and it goes right in right here and goes right up against this. Make sure that metal part of that wheel is up against that collet that's on this right here. So when you install it, put that in, the cover goes back on, put this all back together and everything, then you have your stone. Now, put that on. Get everything set up now. These are set up when you get them from the factory and everything. We have an adjustable cam right here. This is the lift arm adjustment right here. This little guy right here is what you're gonna have to adjust to your blade right here. If you're running a 7 8 blade, as you can see, you're probably, this is down, oh, about 3 quarters of an inch from the very end of this slide holder that it's in. This is a 7 8 blade on here, inch and a quarter blade. So this is where this is performing well at right here. There's another adjustment right here. This is a cam right here. That little cam right there has a nut on the back side of it and you can also adjust that for the gullet and so on and so forth for your blade. Now, if you wanna do this, turn this by hand, to see what you, what you have to get to get this down into the gullet and everything, you can take a three-quarter wrench and you can go right up in here and right behind this right here, there's a cam. And right against this back plate right here, there's a nut that you can take and you can actuate this motor and turn this cam and make this go forward to see where this stone's gonna go down in here and around. So it gives you a little idea without turning on the grinder and everything of where this has got to be. It kind of helps you get everything set up slowly instead of just turning on the grinder and letting the stone and everything uh, try to catch up and you move these adjustments. It's not easy. So you got to, once you get your stone, you have these stones come. They're a square edge uh, on these. They haven't been uh, formed or anything for this. So you could see these are square and everything, and we're gonna have to take and form this edge right here on this. So that's what we have a shaping stone. You gotta use a shaping stone for it. And uh, so it's, this is what we do. You turn on the grinder, and to take this raw edge that's off this, because you have a gullet right here, and this is the side of the stone that's gonna go down in this gullet, on your hook angle right here. So to get that off there, you gotta take a shaping stone and you gotta take this and you just gotta form this roundness. Put some roundness in it, just like that. And you take that square raw edge off that so you don't burn that blade and make a gouge into the blade, which is gonna cause you a fracture and your blade's gonna break. So round this off a little bit, just like that. Now, on this side of your stone, you're going to have to have to take that raw edge off, but you got to take and you got to hold this at the same angle 
like this is on here. So you just take this, touch this stone like you see the angle that I have on it, and I form this like that. So this stone is just about ready to go on this blade right here. Take this dance down, put it down in this rod, goes right into that holder I showed you right down in there, and everything. Move this off the tooth a little bit. Put that down. Let's turn this motor on and see how we're doing here. Check this. Down and look, see where your stone is going and everything on here. Very light. Just touching the front of the blade right there, the tooth. Now, we're going to turn it on. Now, these adjustments right here, you should almost do with it off. You can take this, you should put a finger right here and just hold this so it doesn't pop the blade up. What's going to happen is, you could take this, could rise up, hit the blade right here and fracture your blade and splinter a blade. We've already done it once today. There's one right there that we did. So this is what can happen right, right here. Your blade can get fractured and everything. See how that is working? Nice, easy, going, not burning in the blade. You don't want a hard grind. This adjustment right here controls where this comes down. That adjustment right here. That will take to advance it, we would screw it in. To let the tooth so it be take more off the tooth, we would go like this and turn it back. This is your up and down. We'll take this. See how that got a little higher right there? Now watch, I'll turn it up a little lighter. That's what controls the up and down on it and you're deep into your gullet grind right there. Oop. That's what can happen when you're playing around with the, with the grinder. There we go. Back on the moon again. Down the go, up through. Now remember when you take, put your blade in, these right here needs to have a little pressure. Turn these out so it's the springs are just about loose. You come in eight turns with these. I had these preset before we started. I just want to bring that up. This is what gives you pressure. The vise holds that in there and gives you a little static pressure on there. You don't want it loose so the blade can slide backwards from the vibration or anything like that. So this gives you the static vibration on your blade right here. Doing very nice grind. A little heavy, I could just, could just... Pretty nice grind right there. You don't want to be burning your blade. That's what you don't want to do. Not heavy grind. I'd rather see a blade go around twice than one heavy grind. It's better to grind a blade twice lightly than it is to blade, grind a blade very heavy. Taking blade life way off it. Make sure this blade is clean when you put it on your grinder. The back side of it will sometimes get built up. Uh, get a couple uh, pan scrubber, uh, they're the green, green uh, I forget what you call them, they're like a pot scrubber. You can take and sandwich that between these and clean these blades clean. It is, it's very good to have them clean to go to your setter when you're done with this. So that's why you got to have a clean blade to uh, sharpen and to grind. Cleaner, the better. You'll see, once you get, a, you'll get one, you'll see that. I showed you the other adjustments in it. Uh, those adjustments right there can be tweaked if it's just off, off just a little bit and you want to, you're not nah, just getting the right grind. You could take and uh, fine tune these right here for just about any blade uh, out there. You can uh, change the, uh, the dynamics of the, of the grinder is what I'm saying.
See that right there, right there? Just that much little touch lightened up the grind on this right here. Never heat your blade up. If you don't heat your tooth up, you'll keep your set. Heated blades up can lose set. You get this with a manual, a manual comes with it to show you these adjustments and everything. Uh, we're showing you today how fine this machine works on the grinding. We'll take this when we're done grinding this blade. Once that mark right here comes all the way around, you see we start out our weld just like we would if we're going to go when we bring this to the setter. We mark this with a magic marker. And that's where we start. When this gets around here, we know we've been once around this blade. You want to run a blade twice lightly like this. Check it for sharpness. Not bad, but it needs another trip around. Okay, we just took that, we just ground that around twice and everything. We're going to take this off. You're going to loosen these up. You'll be ready for your next blade like this, pop this out of the way, run that like that, and just lift that blade right up out of there. That's as simple as that. Now, you're going to be heading to the, to the uh, setter, and, you're, and you're going to be, we're going to show you how to deburr this when we get over to the setter and everything. So, we're ready to go to the setter. Uh, as you can see, we have safety glasses on. Grinders will throw stone and throw metal up. You don't need anything in your eyes. It's a definite thing. Gloves, and safety glasses when using this, this machinery right, right here. Same thing as with the sawmill, it was with this. This can really do some damage on your eyes right here when you're getting down there, adjusting, looking at this. Put some safety glasses on, folks. It's your eyes that you have. So you can't waste your eyes. Put them on. Uh, any problems with this uh, machine, give us a call here at the, uh, at the office. If you feel freely to give me a call up in the Northeast, I'm on the website. We'll, uh, we'll help you out on this. Uh, it's a good grinder. You're going to be happy with it. You just got to get it adjusted. We showed you the adjustments on it, and uh, you're going to be happy with this grinder. Hi, folks. Bill Mitchell again from Timber King Northeast. We've just taken this blade off the grinder, and we have to deburr it. What I mean by deburr it, there's a little film that gets right here on the back side of this tooth from the grinder. So. so to put this in the setter so it doesn't throw your set off, we have to take and take that film off there right there. It's a little grind edge you get when you grind anything. So you take a piece of hardwood, you can use a hardwood handle, hammer handle, any kind of piece of hardwood will take this off. So take this and go on the back side of your blade and, and run this just like this. You notice that what I'm doing, I'm keeping the blade off the floor and just rotating this around on the heel of the blade and taking that grind film off. Now I'll go around this just twice and that should take a very good, and there's the start from the weld. And that's what we're doing is taking that off. You have to take it off or your blades won't set. One side is going to be set heavier than the other. That's why we have to do that. Hi folks, we got this setter set up now on this plywood. As you can see, Took it out of the box, set it up, got our blade trundles all out there and everything. This is a dual tooth setter, Talon tool, dual tooth setter. This machine right here will do two teeth at a time, advanced, one handle advancement as you can see and everything on this. We push it forward, it moves it, it comes back, brings the blade, advances his blade on, on the holder through it. What we have here is this screw right here will adjust the blade pitch throw. If you have a 7 8 blade, blade on here, you have it adjusted for that. If you want to put a 3 quarter on this, of course you would turn this up so only the 3 quarter would fit into these two chucks right here. These are where your chucks are mounted. The, the adjustment on these chucks are on these screws right here that hold the chucks that push the teeth. When you slide, these, slide this in when you first get it, you're going to have to take, put this all set it up like you see here, bring this through, fashion it through, and bring the chucks into a new blade so it touches them. 
That way it's pre-setting your chucks that pushes the teeth with a brand new blade. You know you're going to be fairly close that way. And then, once you get that set up and everything with your chucks, then you can start bringing your blade through and checking it when you push on this right here. You can see it's one fluid motion back and forward. And that's it. And what it does is when this comes out, when you push it back, these dial indicators right here will show you where your teeth are. The average blade coming out of a box, ours are 19. So that's what you have to set this up at, 19 degrees. Now, come summertime, when you're getting into the heat, if you're sawing conifer woods or anything like that, you want to go up to a 21. The fiber in the logs gets a little loose, and you would get better cutting if you got a deeper set on your blade. So go up to 21 during the summertime, and you'll see a big difference. Try it. I think you're going to like it very much. I'm going to run this through. Uh, so you can see, see how this goes. Simple fluid, back, forth, checking the set while I go, keeping my eyes on it, making sure everything's going through. Now when you start this blade, you always start with your weld just out of the chuck. Make sure your weld is on the left-hand side of the chuck where the indicator dials are when you start this. And then when your weld comes all the way around back to that point, now you know your blade is set. I like to put a magic marker, take a black magic marker right where the weld is and put an arrow there on both sides so that I can see that while it's going around in the circle. Probably takes uh, an average of two minutes to set this blade and have it dead on. Most teeth are set up. Your blade teeth are set up, one right, one left, and one straight, which is your cleaner tooth. You can see no pressure, no nothing on it. Vance is very nice on this machine. We're coming up to our weld. Here's our weld right here. Now watch when you get close to this well now that the teeth are going to change a little bit right there. And that's where the teeth change. So that's how we set a blade right there. Two teeth at a time. Takes approximately about a minute and a half to two minutes to set this blade.